Hello everyone, this is Alice. Ever wondered why flamingos have a bright pink color or why they could pull off the one-legged sleeping pose with ease? Today I will share with you 10 interesting things about flamingos. Let's get started. First, why are flamingos so pink? The word flamingo is derived from the Latin flamma, meaning flame, a very suitable name for their bright color. But how come they are so pink? It is a rare color in the bird kingdom. Ever heard of the saying, you are what you eat? Flamingo is the living proof of that. Their stunning pink hue is all about the food. Their diet primarily consists of food rich in beta carotene such as algae, crustaceans, shrimps and insects. Carotenoids are pigments that give flamingos their pink coloration. You may have noticed in the zoo, flamingos are not born pink. Baby flamingos have a grayish white coat, totally opposite from their pink, sophisticated parents. It takes a few years for baby flamingos to change color. As the young flamingos consume more food rich in carotenoids, their feathers gradually shift from a duller, lighter color to the vibrant pink the flamingos are known for. Their pink color can also be a health indicator. If their color looks pale or odd, it could be that they don't have enough carotene intake. Interestingly, eating lots of carrots can also give human skin a bit of an orange glow. We are truly what we eat. Second, do parents feed blood to flamingo babies? At first glance, it looks like Papa Flamingo created a wound on Mama Flamingo. There's blood dripping down her head and Baby Flamingo is drinking it. Hold your thought, that's not what really happened. The real truth is, these parents are not fighting, they're simply feeding the young together. Flamingos, like most birds, do not breastfeed in the way mammals do. They don't possess mammary glands for producing milk. Instead, the parents regurgitate a thick, nutrient-rich, milk-like substance from their crops to feed their chicks. It is called a crop milk method. The crop is an enlarged part of the esophagus near the throat where food is stored and softened before digestion. Both male and female flamingos can produce this specialized milk-like substance and the crop milk is not milk white, instead it is red like blood due to their beta-carotene rich diet. What's dripping down the mother flamingo's head is exactly the crop milk from the father. As the chicks grow, their diet gradually transitions to a more solid one, mirroring that of adult flamingos. Third, why do flamingos sleep on one leg? Flamingos are the yoga gurus of the bird world. They can have a pretty good balance while standing on one foot, and they can sleep on this posture. Why do they do that? First off, it keeps them warm. Flamingos have a high body temperature compared to human and many other birds, 38 to 40 degrees Celsius. They spend a lot of time wading in water, which is cooling them down constantly. In order to maintain their high body temperature, they need to protect their bare legs under the feather blanket on their body. They exchange legs to make sure one leg does not stay in the cold for too long. Second, it helps to keep those pesky bugs at bay. With one leg in water or on land, some insects or bugs might climb up their leg and settle down on their body. Using only one foot reduces the risks of critters crawling up their legs during their beauty rest. Last but not least, flamingos are more stable on one leg than two. They are so steady that you can balance a dead one on a single leg. When they stand on one leg, their body weight shifts in a way that naturally stabilizes the standing limb, so they can remain uptight without any muscular activity. This actually saves their energy. How cool is that? It's like flamingos have mastered the art of sleeping smart, looking elegant, and staying hot. And guess what? Flamingos aren't the only cool kids on the block who snoozes on one leg. Other birds like storks, cranes, and even some ducks join the single leg sleep club. They sleep on one foot with their head tucked back into its feathers. Some of them don't have a nest to sleep in, so their body becomes their own bed. 4. Why flamingos drink with beak upside down? During drinking, eating, or crop milk feeding, flamingos often tilt their beaks upside down. Why this weird position? Flamingos have a highly efficient filtration system in their beaks, allowing it to act like a sieve. When they tilt their heads upside down, their beaks are positioned with the opening facing downward into the water. Then they sweep their beaks through the water, trapping food and water in their mouths. 
Their tongue acts like a pump, moving water in and out of the mouth. The flamingo then uses its comb-like structures in the beak to filter out food particles from the water. The water is expelled and the food is swallowed, allowing the flamingo to feed effectively while keeping unwanted debris at bay. This unique technique allows flamingos to efficiently extract the nutrients they need from their aquatic diet while ensuring they stay hydrated. It's like having a built-in water filter. Fifth. Flamingo can drink boiling water, yes. Flamingos have a remarkable ability to drink water that is very hot, almost boiling, due to their specialized adaptations. The lining of the flamingo's beak and throat is extremely tough and resilient, enabling them to endure high temperatures when drinking hot water from geysers or hot springs in their natural habitats. In addition to tolerating high temperatures, flamingos can also drink water with a high salt content, such as sea water, thanks to their efficient salt glands that help regulate their body salt balance. This adaptability to different water temperatures and salinity levels is crucial for their survival in their diverse habitats. 6. Why do flamingos stomp their feet? You can often see flamingos stomp their feet, be it in water or on land. They do so for a variety of reasons. Flamingos stomp their feet in the water to disturb the muddy bottom and stir up food particles. This behavior helps them access their food more easily, as it becomes suspended in the water for them to filter and feed on. Flamingos may also stomp their feet on land to regulate their body temperature. By lifting and stomping their feet, they can cool themselves down by increasing air circulation around their legs and feet, particularly important when exposed to high temperatures in their habitats. 7. Flamingos dance together in courtship? Yes, flamingos have a fascinating courtship ritual involving synchronized group displays. During courtship, a group of flamingos will stand together, stretching their necks, lifting their wings, and move in perfect harmony. What's truly astonishing is that they often display these behaviors in a mirror image fashion, with each flamingo mirroring the action of its neighbors. It's like a choreographed dance from the red flames. This synchronized display helps flamingos strengthen social bonds and choose suitable mates for breeding. Birds interested in one another call to each other frequently and in unison. 8. Flamingos are great lovers. Like swans, flamingos are monogamous, meaning they choose one partner for life. They will raise chicks together every year. Both male and female flamingos play active roles in incubating the egg and taking care of the chick. 9. Flamingos choose their own best friends. True. Flamingos are highly social animals. They also make friends for life. Paul Rose, a behavior ecologist, find out that larger flocks of flamingos are made up of two bird, three bird, and six members subgroups. Some birds were such consistent friends throughout their five-year study. He also observed that birds of a feather flock together. When it comes to choosing friends, both personality and coloration play a role. Some birds prefer to stay with calm friends instead of noisy ones. Some of the brightest pink birds duck together. 10. Flamingos are great architectures. Unlike other birds, flamingo nest is not on the trees, but in shallow waters, to prevent predators. Parents build their nests together to increase security, and the nest is just for babies, not for them. Flamingo use mud, stones, shells, and other natural materials to construct the nest. They create a mound-like structure that provides a sturdy platform for the egg to rest upon. It can take up to six weeks to build a nest. It is often elevated to prevent flooding during high water levels. These mounds can be as high as 30 cm. Its corneal shape helps to direct water away from the egg, maintaining a dry and secure area for incubation. The mud hardens over time, adding to the stability of the nest. Flamingos may renovate and reinforce their nests over subsequent breeding seasons. They add more mud and materials to the existing structure, enhancing its height and stability. The constant renovation ensures that the nest remains robust.